October 16th, 2020. My name is Father Trial, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let's begin. Today, my brothers and sisters, we'll be focusing on the life of Hugh Latimer. Hugh Latimer. You see, Hugh Latimer is one we can say was born into humble beginnings. He was raised on a farm in Thurkeston in Leicester, Leicestershire. Little is known about his childhood other than the fact that he studied Latin at the age of four. Apart from this, we know he attended the University of Cambridge where he received a master's degree. He was ordained a priest a year later, and seven years later, he returned to Cambridge as a chaplain. Latimer joined a group of reformers that met regularly at the White House Tavern, and he was an advocate for the Bible being translated into English. And this was very dangerous for him to be doing. And it led to the beginning of many of his troubles. Latimer was called before Cardinal Thomas Wolsey and was warned to stop what he was doing. However, in great Latimer form, he continued against the arts. And in 1535, he was appointed Bishop of Worship, Worcester. And he used this position to advance his need for reform. However, after picking a theological battle with the infamous King Henry VIII, he was fired from his diocese, arrested, and sent to the Tower of London. On the 14th of April, 1554, he was put on trial along with Nicholas Ridley and Thomas Cranmer and was sentenced to death for what they deemed heresies. Latimer was burned at the stake along with Nicholas Ridley However, Cranmer was put to death a little ways later. They became infamously known as the Oxford Martyrs. The location of their death is marked with a cross in Broad Street today. And for this reason, on October 16th, we celebrate the life of the great Hugh Latimer. Let us pray for his life. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Keep us, O Lord, constant in faith and zealous in witness, that like your servants Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley, we may live in your fear, die in your favor, and rest in your peace. For the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Friends, today Hugh Latimer reminds us to stand for something in life or fall for everything. As usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.